Hi, this is Peter, and I'm going to demonstrate our cotton candy machine. Uh, when you receive your unit, you, re you receive this bowl, the actual unit, uh, and a little bag full of accessories, which includes a little scooper for your um, the, 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 sh the sugar that you're going to go ahead and insert into the machine. Um, when you Before you use your machine, make sure that you wipe down um, and clean your bowl. And if you look on the bottom of the bowl, there's actually little brackets right here that are held on uh, with little clamps on, on the actual unit itself. So once you go ahead and put this in on top, center it, carefully center your unit, and clamp down your unit. Okay. Uh, once it's secure, uh, what you need is a li little bit of cotton candy sugar and an um, item to go ahead and catch the cotton candy. Um, for this demonstration, I could use a scooper, but to make it easier, I'm just going to go ahead and pour the sugar directly into this unit right here. So. I'm going to tilt this. There we go. Spilt a little bit on the side. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And once you do that, uh, make sure that when you turn on the unit, uh, there's a little on and off switch here in the front, right here. And this actually controls. Um, the, the, the voltage to go in down and uh, which heats up the unit so when you turn this on um, this the little metal piece on top will start spinning and you want to make sure you look away because some of the sugar might uh, fly back at you so go ahead and turn this on and as you see it, it starts spinning and if you look in the front you want to go ahead and turn this on all the way Let's turn it all the way, you'll see that it goes to 100, about 110 um, uh, volts. Um, that you want to keep it at this point until you start seeing string uh, coming out of the unit. However, once you start seeing string coming out of the unit, you want to drop it back down, uh, uh, readjust the knob right here and make it go to 90. So it'll make it go to 90 like about there. And that's when you, you run it at that unit. If you, if you tr turn off the power, the unit will stop spinning. However, if this knob is in this position, it will keep the cotton candy melted down. So you can go ahead and turn the unit on and continue making uh, the cotton candy. So it makes it a little bit easier to control. So right now I'm going to go ahead and bump it back up to 110 and let the unit warm up. Be careful, this is very dangerous. Make sure no kids around this. Make sure um, that if when you do use it, that an adult uses it or use, use it with adult supervision. If you hover your hand up, up over the unit, you can, you can feel that it's slowly heating up. But since this unit, um, it's very thick. Uh, it, t it takes a couple, several minutes for it to actually heat up until you start seeing the string come out. Uh, when you actually make the string, you gotta once you do it several times, probably make about like ten cones. You'll you'll, you'll refine your technique, and you'll go ahead and um, you get better and better at it. Still waiting for the unit to heat up. Right now, I can smell that the the, the sugar is melting. And as soon as you see some string come out, remember, drop it down to about 90 degrees, and that's workable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, cotton candy cone ready. So 
right now string is slowly coming out right now so I'm gonna go ahead and see the strings already out so I'm gonna drop it down the, the watts to 90 and right here is when you gotta get your technique down You can actually see the cotton candy come out. I'm just spinning um, the cone as I go ahead and uh, wrap the, the, the string around the actual unit. And I'm going to use the side of the wall to actually round off the cotton candy and make it nice and round. Careful not to make it too big. And that's one cotton candy unit right there. Going to pull this off. Continue making another one. So I'll hold it at an angle, get the basic structure of the ball down, round it off. Oops. Be careful when you're making this. Great for parties, um, fundraising. This is a good unit overall to have around. And once you're done, go ahead and make sure you shut off the machine. And turn off the temperature. See? Made two cotton candies right here. Um, when you do clean this unit, uh, make sure that you go ahead and detach the bowl and take it outside and rinse it off. However, this unit remains really hot, the center unit. So make sure you, uh, you unplug the unit, you let it cool off, and then use um, a wet napkin and just wipe the inside of it out. And then it's ready for storage. So once this unit is running, we're gonna wait till the sugar comes up. We start seeing string come out. See if you see inside the string is slowly forming. But I wanna wait for I'm gonna wait for a little bit more before I drop the temperature and I'm gonna catch that string and uh, start forming the ball on my cone. Right now, I see the string come out. It'll come out from the middle like that. Drop it down, drop it down a little bit. Try to catch some. Once you catch it, all the string is coming from the middle. And you can go ahead and spin your cone. And go ahead and form your ball. Make sure it's not too big. Use the 
side of the walls and go ahead and form the shape of your cone. And when, you're, when this cone is almost done, looks like it's almost done right now, grab another cone and catch the rest. So it's fairly easy to use. As you see, forming a nice good ball. If you want some on top, flip it straight at it. But use the side of the wall to make it a little bit more denser. First, you might get the string all all around you, but once you get the technique down, it'll make it easier to use or make your make your cotton candy. This one'll make it really big. Whoever gets this one, they'll be really lucky. that's done, we're going to turn off your machine. So I made three snow cones.